Okay, salam alaikum wa barakatuh. Hello everyone, I welcome you again. Today, inshallah, we are going to continue with our work. Okay, finish now with our first call video. We finished in the previous video we talked about reading text. How can I deal with the reading question in the exam? How can I find the answer? When we talked about the recovery, we talked here, some question. Oh, and also I told you where can I found the vocabulary in my book, okay? Today, shall we are going to talk about grammar. Okay, let's have a look at this one. So make a quick revision about the title, the, the vocabulary we talk. Have a look at this one. We have that present simple. So when I have the singular subject, as we studied before, when I have, for example, he, she, yet, I, I can add S or yes to the end of the verb. When I have they, we, you, or I, I put the verb one without adding anything. And here is the key word that would help me. I have the word every, always, usually, and often. So I can say he plays football every day. They play football every day. Okay, that's right. Now let's talk about how can I form negative sentence in present simple. Okay, we use does for the singular subject and do for the plural one i can say he doesn't play football now sorry he doesn't play football every day okay she doesn't cook every day okay they don't play football every day i don't often play football okay this is all about present simple. How can I form a question? I can form a question about the singular subject by saying, by saying does he play every day? And about the plural subject, do they play every day? Okay? This one is a quick revision, so go move on to present progressive. When I have a singular subject, for example, he, uh, the suitable helping verb for this one is, is, they, we, you, are, and I am. Followed by the verb ing. And the keyword for this one is now look and add the mom. He is studying now. They are studying now. I am studying now. Okay? How can I form negative? He is then studying now. They are not studying now. I'm not studying. And to form a question, I put the helping verb at the beginning. So, is he studying now? And so on. Also, we talk. A conditional sentence we talk about F a close so we have F followed by present symbol then I have a future one or model verb or imperative if you study you will pass okay and and I will an extra structure here we talk about past simple so when I have he she at the we you and I all the subject followed by the verb to when can I use this one to talk about the finished action for example, when I have in my sentence yesterday, last or ago, okay? And also you have the comparative form of the adjective. When I'm going to compare two things, I say, for example, longer than. When, this my, when, the, when the adjective is more than one syllabus, for example, dangerous, I can say more dangerous than, I cannot say dangerous, or, okay? I move on to the superlative form of the adjective. I'm going just to compare one to a group. For example, she is the tallest. She is the tallest. Mine is the longest driver in the world. When I have two syllabus, more than two syllabus adjective, for example, dangerous, the most dangerous active, which for example is skyboard or whatever you want, okay? This is the main structure. Now it's time to practice. When you have such a question, I want you just to pause the video. Be ready with your with your notebook in your hands and write the answers, okay? Have a look at this one. It's already done. Sammy is tall and he is short. How can I compare Sammy to Ali? This is what I want you to do. Sammy is taller than Ali. It's so easy. Yeah, move on to the second one. Do you finish? Okay, let's check. Hamad is fast, Fahid is slow. Hamad is faster than Fahid, that's right. 
Sammy is fat and is slim. Sammy is fatter than Ali. Nasser is thin. Ali is fat. Nasser is thinner than Nasser. That's, that's right. Ahmed is God. Ali is bad. Pay attention to this one. Can I say Godder? For sure. No. Ali is fair than. And again, we have an irregular adjective that I cannot add er to the end. For example, God. I cannot say Godder. Worse. Bad. Worse. Not bad. Okay. Yeah. Let's continue. We now just we are going to practice what. Super. I, during the exam, I want you just to pay attention to the bracket here. Which that means what you are going to do. Okay, don't just start just solving the, the exam or answering the question without paying attention to the bracket. So, Hamid's well, probably is the big valley in our town. Valley, sorry. Hamid Valley is the biggest. Biggest, okay. Quick weather is the hot weather in Gulf. The hottest, I had what? Yes. And the golf. Ahmed's brother is fat boy in class. I'm comparing what Ahmed to the old class. So he's the fattest. Find a new, new house is big house in our city. So I'm com comparing Fahad house with all the houses in our city. So he the biggest. That's right. Now let's move on to practice the chances. How do you always to school by pass? I have here the keyword which is always, that's right. The suitable tense for the verb is present symbol and for single subject I use what goes, that's right. The student football at a school every Thursday. The keyword here is every, that's right. And the subject here is plural, so I keep the verb as says so play the student play football at school at Thursday. Have a look at this one. We are going to practice which tense I have here lock. Lock indicates that I'm I'm talking about which tense very great. I'm talking about present continuous. So the third R that's right why in this card Adimon our father is at the moment, I think I'm going to talk to, talk, to use what present present progressive. That's right, is repairing his car. Last week we to London, which is the best for to the gap. Yes, I have here the keyboard which is last week. We travel. That's right. Talk about finished action. My father in quarantine years. Mm -hmm. Work in Qatar. Ten years ago. Okay, so I have here the word ago that indicates past. Let's continue now. Okay, here's a long just correct the verb. Muhammad usually play football on Sunday, but this Sunday he play 6 to 8 p.m. Think about this one. He usually, what is the suitable tense of the verb here? Mm hmm. That's right, please. I'm talking about what I have here usually. I'm talking about what daily routine or habits. That's right. Then, but this Sunday, he is playing from 6 to 8 p.m. Thank you. Very good. Did you get, did you notice the difference between the both? Thank you. Again, pause the video now. Try to answer this one by your own. Again, I have here usually, usually spend, that's right, we, so the verb remains as it says, we spend all the afternoon at our grandparents' house by the day, we, we are spending the whole day there, okay? And a question about this part, you can just write this question in your notebook and let me see it in the school. Okay. Again, continue what practicing we are practicing. Why we to Dukhan we Dukhan we stop to watch the sunset. While we what? While we driving to to Dukhan we 
the stop so we were driving the whole time okay the whole duration we are what this web was continuous we were driving then suddenly something happened just to catch cut the, the continuation of the verb so we stop this one was in the past to watch the sunset again answer this question Khaled Khaled fixed his car when I have to win so Khaled was fixing his car when he discovered that the battery was dead so the continuous bed was what was fixing okay then I have what discovered here's the structure I have here to use so I use who and that for people, which and that for things, animals and idea, and where for places. Thank you. And I use who to refer to possession. This is what I quick, quick revision. Then you are going to answer this question. Okay? Your time now. My friend who? I'm talking about my friend. So I use who for people. Your whose car? Here I put an, an emphasis or the more information about this car. Just to, to, to get you to know this one. I use whose. The place we played football last week was go. I'm talking about place so where I put the chair. Which made of plastic. Okay. Now, again to practice more. Come, yeah, have a look at this one. We took this one before, so it would be easy to you to answer this question. Yes? Let us see. Do you know the shop? I'm talking about place. Shop is a shop is a place. So where I can get a dictionary? There is a shopping center on Graham, which has I'm talking about what the shopping center. So I use what? But there are lots of good online dictionaries. I'm talking about what? Dictionaries, so I use which? And talk about place I use for. I have a friend whose father is writer and he used them all the time. Okay. Quick revision, yeah. What do you think? The first picture is who for pe for people. So I use who for people. And where for places. For animals and things I use which and to put more emphasis or position I use. Who is very good. Now we move to the white question. In this question, I, you will find two, uh, two, uh, yeah, two writing. You are going to write to choose one. You can either write about blog or a place. How? How can I write a blog? To write a blog, you should start by mentioning personal information. Talk about your name and age. Write your name and your age. Then move on to the main part. What sport do you play, for example? What habits you have got? What interest you have got? Okay? You are going to come to talk about your hobbies and interests in this talk. For example, you will find here how many phrases I can say, I can stand. For example, I'm, I'm, I am a big fan of, it's really into, interest in them. Okay, this is what a helping verb that could help you while you are writing. Okay, let's move on to writing too. In this writing, I will ask you to write a description of our place. How can I write a description? We talk about this one in detail in the class, that's right. In the introduction, we have some general information about the place, name, where it has most interesting feature. Okay, this is about the introduction. Move on to the main part. Main part consists of two paragraphs. Number one, mention some of these type and don't just list them. Try to give some information about each type. Use the phrase or why. You can get help from this one. This one is already mentioned in your book page, student book page 29. Okay, you can use one of the most interesting. Another place worth visiting is don't forget to list. Okay, this is about the paragraph number one. Number two, mention what. Visitor can do during use of phrases like you can, don't leave without if you want to. Another thing you can do is you must also. Okay? So maybe bar consists of two paragraphs. Then we'll talk about the conclusion that you general opinion of the place. Okay. We talk about this one and you already did, okay? 
Now, here's an, an example you cannot have for the one who couldn't write about their own city that they prefer. For example, in this example, I talk about Doha. Doha is a coastal city and a capital of the city, capital of the state of Qatar. So, I mentioned the, the city name and the country. Then, give one feature. It is located on the co coastal of Arabian Gulf. It is an attraction of your holiday destination. Okay? It's about the introduction. They move on to the main parts. In the main parts, you are going to mention sites, at least the and what can visitors do there. And finish by the conclusion, say, there has something for everyone. I believe that if you visit this impressive city once, you will want to visit it again and again. You can now pause the video, have a look at the layout of this. Right, and try to imitate this one. Put your own thoughts, okay? And the one who couldn't, just you can try to imitate this one, okay? Okay, that was all about the revision. Just I want you, before you leave the video, try to have a look at your book at home. Try to label the end. Yeah, if you don't, if you have any questions, just you can label this one. We we'll see it in the school. Okay, we still have time before the exam. I hope you will, you will, inshallah, all of you get good marks, and see you next time, inshallah.